Iron Maid, The Warning, Live Together and Pretty Tam Soon. Hot off the heels of Band Maid announcing their intentions to collaborate on recordings with other artists in 2024, I'm gonna guess that you, dear listener, share my feeling that this Tokyo gig will likely be the stage for premiering a new collaboration song between the two artists. And today, we're gonna focus on how this could get the most out of both Band Maid and The Warning to produce something totally epic. Hi there and welcome back to Japan and before we get into our lofty hopes, let's first be clear about what has thus far been announced. A poster went up on social media yesterday confirming that Bandmaid and The Warning will be appearing at a gig together in Tokyo on June 12th. This places it in the middle of Bandmaid's Japanese hall tour and alongside The Warning's ambition to spread into the Japanese market also. The two bands are long-time admirers of each other and so I think a lot of us were expecting this from the minute Bandmaid announced an intention to showcase collaborations this year. A song has not yet been announced, but I think given all of the above, if there isn't a new song, I'll gladly eat my hat. And uh, given my hat, please let there be a song. <laughs> Now, as excited as we all surely are for the possibility of this collaboration, the songwriter part of my brain keeps coming back to the same issue. How do you make a collaboration of these two bands that actually gets the most out of both? This is not like the recent Baby Metal F Hero Body Slam collaboration, where you had a girl group, a rapper, and a band, all with a taste of metal. No, with Band Made and The Warning, we have two fully lined up rock bands. For example, as much as we'd love to see Akane and Paulina playing drums at the same time, it's hard to imagine how that would work on a recording. One would play drums while the other does overhead percussion, maybe? Would they alternate back and forth on who's playing the drum kit? Where do we fit two basses in a song that already has to spread out its three guitarists? There are obviously arrangement considerations to be picked through here if all eight ladies are going to go into a studio together and showcase their abilities in a coherent end product. And no, I'm not just thinking of all of them having one solo each. I know that some people at home right now thinking that. That's, I'm thinking of one coherent song. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many comments about just let them all play a solo, aren't I? So this is going to be an interesting opportunity to consider how such a collaboration would best highlight the qualities of both artists. I'm going to present my suggestion, but please get into the comments and tell me your thoughts also. But let's start this thing off first of all by addressing that both The Warnings Alejandra and Bandmaids Konami have a taste for playing the piano. I mean, of recent, so does Psyche, but let's just keep her on joint vocal duty for now because actually the psyche Danny like duet vocal is one of the things that I'm most looking forward to from this hopeful song. But anyway, as mentioned, let's get some piano in this song. Personally, I'm gonna opt for Alejandra on piano, thus meaning Misa becomes the sole bassist. The knock-on effect is that Danny could then put down her guitar and step up front to stand along Psyche whilst they both vocally duet together. This also keeps Konami on guitar and given she is probably the most accomplished lead guitarist in our little team here, this also makes sense to me. Now let's come back round to the drum issue because this is an interesting one. There are many ways actually to solve this. As mentioned, it isn't unheard of to have two drummers playing together. It just doesn't often make for the best studio recording when you're trying to get a nice, clear, concise beat. But this could be resolved by them sharing duties in the studio to create a lush multi-layered rhythm and percussion bed. No one really needs to know who hit which bit of kit in the final product. They can just build a complex rhythm together whilst in the studio. Then, sure, when they're live, they can do a bit of crowd pleasing by both playing drum kits, full drum kits at the same time. They can even do this in the accompanying music video. Yes. Yes, there could also be a music video for this. I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. They haven't even announced the song yet. But you know, the warning are coming to Japan. And now you're thinking about it, you can't unthink about it. Perhaps the biggest topic to address though is song structure. What could the two bands bring to each other's song writing games? Is there really an area where each band has a comparative strength or weakness that the other one could complement or take advantage of? Obviously, we are walking into an area of subjectivity here, but as someone whose passion has always been for songwriting, arrangements and such, I'm gonna try and suggest where each band could really lift the other one up a little bit more. 
First up, let's look at what the warning could bring to the songwriting table. I think anyone who's looked at this channel before will probably know that I'm a big Bandmade fan already, so I had to actually do more work looking into the warning and really trying to establish what makes them really stand out compared to the mates. So I listened to a lot of their music and thus I found the warning's greatest songwriting strength seems to be their ability to really nail an earworm. With songs like Choke, Money and the recent Sick, it's pretty clear that the warning have a real penchant for arena blasting scream along earworms that pump up the audience. This is not to say Bandmade have none, but the warning seem to roll them out one after the other after the other, where Bandmade songs never feel quite so designed for the sing-along moments, with the occasional dan dan diddy dan dan exception. If the warning could add one of their signature hooks to this song, we could have a chorus that would stay in listeners' heads and keep the song on repeat play around the world for months, maybe even years. As much as I love Bandmade, I think the warning should take lead on writing the hook, therefore. However, I do have to swing back towards my beloved Bandmade fandom a little bit here. See, maybe the reason I never fell so far down the warning rabbit hole myself is a feeling that their arrangements are probably their weakest suit. Let me explain. I think it has to be said that the bass and guitar are often playing similar things and you know maybe following similar riffs and patterns and in the warning's raw energy they sometimes lack the thickness and nuance that Bandmade inevitably bring to their songs and with eight musicians playing together as we'd have in this collaboration and a song that is obviously going to have a lot of energy Bandmade could really elevate this song through their ability to arrange and layer the larger structure. That ability to layer the development, the course of the song, how it sounds sonically. Looking at effortless pieces like the crescendo nailing bubble, the variation packed influencer, or even the blasting unleash, it's obvious that Bandmade are experts in making complexity happen with a sense of ease and purpose, never tripping over on each other's toes and instead creating rock songs that maximize each member's contribution. Therefore, I feel like they could really put everything in its right place and assure a song that's structurally coherent, effortless, and brings you round to that punchy, the warning hook that could pay it all off with a massive, amazing, rewarding, emotional sing-along feeling. In conclusion, no, we don't even have the announcement of a song yet, although I genuinely think that song must be coming. Who knows, we might even get a mini album from them. That's a bit too much hope, isn't it? Look, the point is, is that I really do think that this is something that is going to be genuinely interesting to watch come down the pipeline. And yes, when the discussions of The Warning and Bandmade playing together on a song first came up months ago and you know, we were seeing the two bands interacting with each other, I must admit that my initial feeling was that this seemed like something that... I was just wondering, how's it going to work? You know, two bands playing together. Yes, it's a sort of a dream team thing where you love two bands, you want to see them play together. I do understand that for many people, but I was thinking, how do you get two rock bands playing together without just stepping on each other's toes? Well, the more I look at the warning, the more I look at their lineups, the more I look at the things that make them different, which is ultimately what makes any collaboration great, the more I see potential for this to be something really interesting. As mentioned, the fact that the warning have a stronger game at making those sing-along core Oral arena sounding hooks that just, you know, Bandmade can do, but just not on that level. I don't think they're quite as much that sort of arena band. You know, this is something that I really think that the warning could bring. And at the same time, I think Bandmade's just sheer ability to write songs that are so flush with nuance and development, their ability to build to crescendos, their ability to put so much talent into one song without it ever sounding cluttered. This is something that would make such a collaboration really just much easier. It would mean that they could get the most out of everyone, assuming that everyone is using all those musical talents, like the ability to play piano, that they have at their disposal. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe there'll be no song. For the sake of my hat, let there be a song. Maybe there will be a song and maybe it'll be nothing like anything I'm saying here. That's kind of what I'm really expecting. <laughs> but whatever happens, 
I'm just kind of excited to see what they produce. Obviously, these are just my thoughts. These are my little musings on what I would like to see and how I think it would best play out. But you guys get into the comments and tell me what you think, what you hope, um, what you suspect. Um, give me your lineup for how you think this should all go together. And I will be looking forward to reading those comments. And I always read them even if I don't get time to respond to every single one. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys all suggest. And if anyone's just in there saying, hey, let's just have a list of solos. God damn it. Anyway, until I hopefully see you very soon in the comments or in the next video, and definitely here in Japan. For now, ciao, ciao.